the largest and most dangerous gathering of al-Qaeda in years, and the CIA and the Pentagon either didn't know about it or couldn't get a drone there in time to strike. U.S. officials will not say. But every frame is being analyzed. In the middle, the man known as al-Qaeda's crown prince, Nasser al-Waheshi, brazenly out in the open, greeting followers. A man who says he wants to attack the U.S., seemingly unconcerned he could be hit by an American drone. This is quite an extraordinary video. The leader of al-Qaeda in the Arabian Peninsula, Nasser al-Waheshi, who is also the number two of al-Qaeda worldwide, addressing over 100 fighters uh, somewhere uh, in uh, Yemen, taking a big risk uh, in doing this. In his speech, Waheshi makes clear he is going after the U.S., saying, we must eliminate the cross. The bearer of the cross is America. U.S. officials believe the highly produced video is recent. With some fighters' faces blurred, there is worry it all signals a new round of plotting. Well, the U.S. intelligence community should be surprised that um, such a large group of al-Qaeda assembled together, including the leadership, and somehow they didn't notice. There's good reason to worry. Al-Qaeda in the Arabian Peninsula, also known as AQAP, is considered the most dangerous al-Qaeda affiliate. The CIA and the Pentagon have repeatedly killed AQAP leaders with drone strikes, but the group now emboldened. The main problem about this group is that it has a bomb maker who can put bombs onto planes that can't be detected. That bomb maker, Ibrahim al Asiri, is believed to be responsible for several attempts against the U.S., including the failed 2009 Christmas Day underwear bomber attack. He is not seen in the video, which emerged on jihadist websites. He remains in hiding, and intelligence experts say he and other AQAP leaders have gone back to using couriers to communicate to avoid detection, making it even harder to figure out what Waheshi may be up to next. And his message to the United States was very much the same as uh, bin Laden's, we're coming after you. So the question really remains here. Did the U.S. not know about this meeting of 100 al-Qaeda fighters? Could they not get a drone there in time to attack? Or was there some other intelligence reason the U.S. decided not to attack, to pass it by? We don't know the answer.